Good morning. It's me, Lil Hamal, your science teacher. So I'm presenting myself as a science teacher of grade nine uh, biology. Today we are going to talk about the biology of mosquito. Under that topic, we are going to talk about the introduction regarding mosquitoes, habits and habitat, the morphology or body structure of mosquito, then after the life cycle, uh, then after malaria, uh, a disease caused by the mosquito, and finally the control measures of mosquito. Okay, so before beginning the class, uh, I would like to welcome you. Let's have a look on the screen. Then we go to um, the biology of mosquito. Okay, good. Well, so under the topic, the biology of mosquito, uh, we're going to discuss these things. Okay, well, a mosquito is a typical flying insect. Okay, so it's a, it's a typical, it has got three pairs of the legs, two pairs of the wings, but one pair is vestigial. Um, likewise, it is ictu blood sucking parasite. So ictu blood sucking parasite means it sucks blood. But it is external parasite. As shown in the diagram at the right, there is a mosquito which is sucking the blood. Likewise, the mosquito is disease transmitting agent or vector. And so what does it mean? It transmit the disease. Likewise, this is uh, nuisance and unwanted guests, um, guests of the house. So nuisance means it gives you problem, irritations, you really don't like it. That's why it's called unwanted guest. It is not wanted guest, it's unwanted guest or their unwanted guests. They transmit the diseases to human animals such as malaria, pyloria, and many more. There are altogether three thousands of them, uh, species of the mosquitoes identified so far, and hundreds of them are responsible to cause the disease, to transmit the disease to human beings as well as animals. Okay, uh, they are very common in tropical and subtropical species. Um, uh, they are very common in tropical and subtropical region of the the globe and the common tropical and subtropical species responsible to cause diseases to human beings are Anopheles, Culex, um, Aedes, and Mansonia, and many more. Well, next. Let's talk about the habit and habitat. Habit means um, what are their typical um, characteristics and what do they do? And habitat means where do they live? Where do they live? Okay, good. Okay, they are commonly found in damp, and marshy, and dark places in the tropics and subtropics. They are nocturnal. They are active during the dawn and dusk. So nocturnal means they are active during the night time. And especially they are very active during the dawn means early in the morning before sun rising and dusk means the day after sunset. That's called dusk before getting dark. The female mosquitoes are sanguivorous, the blood feeding. They feed on blood. The female needs blood meal highly proteinous blood meal because she needs to lay a lot of eggs. That's why she needs the blood. Okay. Likewise, <clears throat> males actually do not feed, males actually do not feed the juice of the flower. Do not feed the blood and they feed on um, juice of the flowers and fruits. The, the females are responsible to transmit diseases, not the males. Okay, because when the female mosquitoes, they come to suck the blood and they transmit the germs into the body of human beings and animals. So, these are the females who suck 
the blood and transmit the disease, the female mosquitoes. And mosquitoes are good flyers and can cover 20 to 30 kilometers over a night. So they can cover like 20 to 30 kilometers over a night. Um, the life cycle is completed in the water. Um, the, all the stasis are aquatic except the adult. So they are found in damp, marshy places. The egg, larva, and pupa are aquatic. The adults are found in dark, and marshy, and moist places. And so where there is full of vegetation, etc. Good. Okay, so let's talk about the morphology. So morphology means what does it look like? It's a very small insect. Having the body size about half a centimeter. That's got a proboscis here. Maxillary pulps and the antenna, feather antenna, two compound eyes. This is the head. This part is thorax. And this part is the abdomen. Okay, so it's thorax gibbs one pair of the wings used for the flight and another very bestial pair of wings not for the flight and three pairs of legs one two three one side another one two and another three another side so this is the structure body structure or morphology of a mosquito Morphologically, the mosquito is a small insect having three to four millimeter in its length, about half a centimeter. Um, it's a soft, slender, means cylindrical in structure. Likewise, it's a grayish black and a scaly. It's a grayish black. The color is scaly means it has got the scales. When you kill the mosquito, and you will have some sort of scales on the on the hand. That's that's came from the scales of the body. So they are scaly. Scaly means having the scales. There, it is typical insect so that the body, body is divisible into three main parts. Head, thorax, and abdomen. Well, the head is spherical with the, with a piercing and shocking type of mouth part. What is the type of mouth part of the mosquito? It's a piercing and shocking type of mouth part. Piercing and shocking type. Piercing means the penetrating, penetrating, and shocking means it shocks the blood. Okay. And a pair of compound eyes and a pair of feathery antennae, antenna here, antenna, this one, antenna. Feathery means feather-like. Okay, then the thorax. Thorax has got three segments. Each segment gives a pair of jointed legs, altogether three jointed legs, and actually two pairs of wings one larger pairs for the flight and down there one small and vestigial pairs these smaller pair of vestigial rudimentary pairs of wings are called balancers or halters okay the the posterior vestigial pair of the wings not for the flight because they are vestigial. Uh, they are called balancers or halters. They are not for the flight. And what are they for? They are for producing a peculiar mosquito sound. And now finally the abdomen. Abdomen has got altogether nine segments and there is a presence of anus at the eighth segment. Eighth segment there is anus and ninth segment 
uh, there is a genitalia means sex organ. Genitalia. Good. So have a look on the slide. Then if something left, we'll talk about that. Okay, so. Um, it's a typical insect. The body is divisible into head, thorax, and abdomen. So the head has got a pair of compound eyes, eyes with many lenses, pair jointed feathery antenna, antenna looks like that of the feather, piercing and shocking type of mouth parts, piercing and shocking means it pierces, means it penetrates and shocks the blood, thorax three segmented um, and, and has got three pairs of long and jointed legs, two pairs of membranous wings, the front pair is larger and meant for the flight but posterior means hind pairs are vestigial called halters or balancers not for flight but for producing the muscular sound <laughs> like this okay and the abdomen is altogether non segmented the genitalia are present in last segment that is non segment and the anus is present in the eighth segment that's a typical morphology of the mosquito okay let's have a look another so is the picture so mosquito basic body plan so you can have a look uh, the mouth part having the proboscis for shocking um, yeah it's good and um, and three pairs of jointed legs uh, the feathery antenna compound eyes the body divisible into head thorax abdomen altogether nine segments in the in the in the abdomen you can have a look the picture on the on the right hand side there is a small wing as well down there that's halters or balancers okay this is the basic plan of the mosquito it's it's a tiny insect uh, having the body length at about at the 0 0.5 centimeter half a centimeter the legs are longer than that of the body okay so have a look the mouth part of the mosquito is piercing and sucking type piercing means it penetrates and sucks the blood have a look at the press picture, it gives the details. The middle, the pink one, is the proboscis, that is penetrating organ. So you can have a look, the labium uh, th that has got the, the penetrating organ inside of it. And the last picture at the right, you can have a look. The proboscis is penetrating all the down from the skin of the animal, maybe the human beings, and also it penetrates the blood vessels from where it is sucking the blood. Okay, very interesting. So that the mouth part of the mosquito, it's a very interesting structure, piercing and shocking type. But in case of the male, it is not that strong and does not uh, pierce and shock the, the blood of human being and animal. But it sucks the nectar and the juice of the fruit. The okay, morphology of different uh, species of the mosquitoes, the first one is Anopheles like this, and second one is Culex, and third one is Aedes mosquito. So you can have a look different mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes, but mosquitoes, there are about 3,000 species of the mosquitoes. 100 of them cause the diseases to us. Okay, now we talk about life cycle. As it is a very typical insect, its life cycle is completed into four stages. What are they? Eggs, larva, pupa, and adult. So life cycle begins after copulation and having the blood meal by the female. Then after that the female lays the eggs in the water. And all the stages are aquatic except the adult. It means the egg, larva and pupa, the leave in the water. But adult is aerial or let's say terrestrial, not in the water but outside the water. Okay, so life cycle of mosquito the life cycle of mosquito shows the complete metamorphosis and has got four uh, stages egg or eggs larva pupa adult well let's have a discussion for a minute so the when the female uh, emerges out of the puparium and becomes adult it flies with the males and will have the matting or sex with the males in the air then after she finds the blood meal from animal or human being and and the female mosquito lays the eggs in the water good 
Okay, so depending upon the temperature, so in various days, we'll talk about in detail later on in the slide. So eggs get hatched into the larva. Eggs, eggs get hatched into the larva. Okay, so, and the larva, larva are voracious feeder. The larva of the mosquito are called wriggler because they saw the wriggling motion. Wriggling means just like a dancing motion. And then after, when they eat, uh, the, the aquatic creatures found in the water, including yeast and bacteria, and they pupate. The pupa do not eat, but unlike that of the pupa of other insects, the mosquito, in, mosquito pupa is a bit different. And what's the difference? What's the difference? So the difference is that they, um, they still can move. The pupa of other insects cannot move, but they still can move. So that's an interesting fact. So, what is the difference between pupa of mosquito and pupa of other insects? The difference is that the pupa of other insects is immobile, means do not move, but the pupa of mosquito is mobile. So, they move with the, with the kind of motion or movement called tumbling motion. And they are also known as tumbler, T-U-M-B-L-E-R. So, larva of mosquito are called, are also called wriggler. And pupa of mosquito are also called Tumbler. So, wriggling motion means wriggling like this, just like a dancing, you know, wriggling like this. And tumbling means going down and going up, tumbling, tumbling. Showing tumbling motion, that's why pupa are called tumbler. And larva shows the wriggling motion, that's why they are called wriggler. W, w R, I, Z, Z, L, E, R, wriggler. And adult, about adult, we talked about typical insect, about half a centimeter, body divisible into head, thorax, and abdomen. And the female is sanguivorous, means female sucks up blood and lays eggs in the water. And the male feeds on the juice of the fruits or juice um, of the flowers. Okay, so let's have a look at the next slide. Life cycle of the mosquito simply takes place in the water where the water is accumulated. It can be in the stagnant water of pond or lake or the water accumulated in the tire, water accumulated on a cup, so whatever. So you have a look, it looks like a very small cup as where there is water accumulated during the rainy season and the mosquito life cycle is completed. The female mosquito lays the eggs in the water, eggs hatched into the larva. Larva undergoes the pupation and pupa um, develops into the, uh, the adult. In this way, the, the life cycle completed. Adult does not live in the water, it leaves the water, L-E-A-V-E-S, leaves the water and, and it flies in the air. So next one. So, so life cycle of the mosquito, eggs, and larva, larva, larva. So altogether four stages of larva, we say in stars. So different stages of the larva, and larva one, first stage larva, larva two, larva three, larva four. And um, the different stages of larva, these are get developed after molting. Molting means um, um, after, after setting the skin, katsu uh, leaf here in Nepali. So they grow the size. So first of all, uh, immediately after hatching, very small, 0.1 mm, and and when it like goes up to like fourth stage larva, it becomes like one centimeter long. It's a very voracious feeder. It eats a lot, very active, and it shows uh, the wriggling motion, wriggling motion, wriggling motion. That's why they are called wriggler. Then after it turns, it, it, it stops feeding and turns into commasive structure it's still in the water. That's called pupa or pupal stage, the pupa of mosquito called tumbler. And uh, after a few days, the pupa um, undergoes complete metamorphosis. So um, develops into the adult and adults comes out of the water. In this way, the life cycle is completed. So have a look at another. So I've got a life cycle of mosquito. Basically, we are going to talk about the life cycle of the culex and life cycle of the anopheles. Same pattern, uh, the culex mosquito, eggs, larva, pupa, and adult. So likewise, that of the anopheles is the same. But there is some of the basic differences. For example, the shape and size and structure of the eggs, larva and habit, the type of the pupa and type of the adult, that sort of things will be different, okay? That's why we're going to talk about that. Okay, so let's talk about the eggs. Okay, good. 
The female of any mosquito lays the eggs in the water. The female Culex lays about 200 to 400 of the eggs in polluted water at a time. Each egg is cigar sept. Cigar sept means the big cigar like structure. That's why I call it is cigar sept. They're glued together means cemented together to form a raft. So, have a look down there. The picture at the left side is a raft. A lot of eggs glued together to form a raft, like rafting boats, okay? To form a raft. Okay, likewise, the female Anopheles lays about 4,200 eggs in clean water at a time. So, we are doing some sort of comparative study, that of the Culex and Anopheles. Eggs are laid singly, not glued together, and each egg is that of boat shaped. The shape of the egg is like that of the boat. So you can have a look. The eggs at the at the right hand side is the is the egg of the the Anopheles. Uh, they're uh, bullet shaped, a lot of eggs, or boat shaped. These are the eggs of the Anopheles. These are not that big. They are just magnified. Eggs are hatched into larva in two to three days, depending upon the temperature. Likewise, larva. The larva of the mosquito are called wrigglers. Why? Because they show the wriggling motion or movement. Uh, there are four different stages of larva. Larva, the different stages of larva are called instars. What do you mean by instars? Instars means um, the larval stays in between two uh, maltings. Maltings means setting skin. It's called instar. As I showed you before, larva 1, larva 2, larva 3, larva 4, four different stages of larva. So the larva grows, first of all, from 1 mm millimeter up to 10 millimeter, let's say 1 centimeter. So the body is divisible into, the body of the larva is divisible into thor head, thorax, and abdomen, head, thorax, and abdomen. Uh, they are voracious feeder. They eat a lot. What do they eat? They eat bacteria, yeast, small aquatic organisms, whatever they found in the water. And the abdomen of the larva is also that of the nine segments is that of the adult. The eighth segment contains a respiratory, resp respiratory siphon. Um, it means a structure that helps for respiration. And nine segment bears two pairs of tracheal gills for respiration. The larva of culex is bottom peter. The larva of culex is bottom peter means um, it eats something from the bottom. That's why it hangs the facing the, the mouth down. That's why it's, it's bottom peter. So that it hangs down forming an angle with the surface of the water about 45 degree. However, the larva of Anopheles is surface peter and remains parallel to the surface of the water. So let's have a look at the picture. Um, so these are the mosquito larvae, larva of the mosquito, so you can have a look and um, the picture clearly shows that the siphon tube means the tube for respiration that comes on the surface of the water for the intake of the oxygen. So interesting. And so this is the larva of Aedes and that one is larva of Culex. Okay, well, now pupa. Pupa is comma sept like that of the um, you know the sign comma, and the pupa does not eat. The pupa of mosquito is known as tumbler. Why is that called tumbler? Because they saw the tumbling motion, going down, going uh, coming up, going down, coming up, up down, up down. That's called tumbling, and they saw the tumbling motion. Unlike that of pupa of other insects, as it is mobile, it is unlike that of the pupa of other insects. So, unlike means not like. So. The pupa of other insects immobile, but the pupa of mosquito is mobile. That's the difference. What's a mobile? Mobile means it shows the locomotion movement. Cephalothorax, it has got a cephalothorax. What is cephalothorax means? The head and thorax is fused, forming the head of the comma. That's why that is strokes it is called cephalothorax. And the abdomen has got altogether nine segments. Thorax with a pair of respiratory trumpets for respiration. And the pupa undergoes a complete transform called metamorphosis and it goes uh, histolysis and histogenesis. I'm going to talk about what do you mean by histolysis? Histolysis means degeneration of larval characteristics or larval structure is called histolysis. Degeneration means disappearing 
and histogenesis means forming some of the new characters or new structure, new organ to develop the adult. So, what am I trying to say? Inside the pupa, there is histogenesis, it loses the larval characters or larval structure and histogenesis, it develops the adult structures and to form the, the, the adult. Uh, and finally, it emerges as an adult outside the water from puparium means the cover of the pupa is called puparium in two to five days depending upon the temperature. The newly emerged adult is called the imago, I-M-A-G-O. What do you mean by imago? The newly emerged adult is known as imago, that, uh, that, that just recently emerged out of the, the puparium or pupa. Okay, good. And it, it dries its feathers, and, sorry, not feathers, the wings, and flies away and so when it gets dried up. So, mosquito larva, so it shows the respiratory trumpets up to the surface of the water, and it shows the eye, pair of eye, one this side and one another side, and paddle, paddle for swimming. And actually, the, in, the, in the natural habitat, the uh, pupa of mosquito are like that, which are shown at the right side of the slide. Now let's talk about the adult. I think I don't have to talk much about adult because we talked about something in the structure. The emerges from the pupary as an imago, the newly emerged uh, adult is called imago. It is a typical insect, but it is divisible into head, thorax, abdomen. It flies away after drying wings. It's, it mates or copulate, take copulate, it, it does copulation in the air with the males. The male and female, they will have sex in the air. Then after the female um, will have the blood meal and oviposition to a strong life history. Life history means life cycle. Oviposition means egg laying, blood, blood meal means the female sucks the blood. An adult culex remains parallel to the surface while resting, but anopheles makes an angle of 45 degree at the ground with the, while, while resting. So what does it mean? The culex, when it is um, resting, it is, um, um, it is parallel, means straight to the ground. When um, the anopheles is resting, it makes an angle with the ground that of the 45 degree approximately. The life cycle is completed in, or in, in 10 or more days, depending, on the, depending upon the temperature. The female mosquito lives up to a month, whereas the male lives only for a week. So the life, life duration of the female is more. Morphological structure, so same thing we saw before as well. So uh, that's anopheles, culex, and Aedes mosquito. So here is comparative studies, just going to have a look. Uh, so culex and mosquitoes, differences, what are differences in the egg or larva and pupa? So culex, eggs are cigar sept, anopheles, eggs are boat sept. Likewise, eggs are glued together forming a raft in the culex and eggs are set free individually. So there are 200 to 400 eggs at a time in that of the culex, but 40 to 100 eggs at a time, that of the anopheles. The larva of the culex is bottom feeder, the larva of the anopheles is surface feeder. The larva makes an angle with the water surface while, while hanging, but the larva remains parallel to the surface of the water. The pupa is colorless, that of the culex, Anopheles, the pupa is green. That of the culex, the adult culex remains parallel to the surface at rest, but the adult anopheles max an angle to the surface, um, parallel to the max an angle uh, to the surface at rest, about 45 degree. So culex, the female culex transmit pilarial parasites and causing pilariasis. The female anopheles transmit malarial parasites causing the disease malaria. Some common diseases transmitted by mosquitoes. Anopheles transmits malaria, lymphatic filariasis, LF. Culex transmits lymphatic filariasis, LF. Japanese encephalitis, JE. Meningitis. So, um, likewise, Aedes um, transmits yellow fever and dengue. So, yellow, yellow fever, Y E L L O W, there is a spelling error. So, I'm very sorry. So it's, and yellow fever and dengue, D-E-N-G-U-E, dengue. So mansonia, uh, the mosquito mansonia transmits the disease LF, lymphatic filariasis, elephantiasis, hati pile. So malaria, what is malaria? A disease 
caused by the plasmodium. What is plasmodium? A protozoan, and it is transmitted by female anopheles. The site of infection by the plasmodium in the disease malaria is human liver or RBCs. Symptoms, basically symptoms, there is periodic high fever, periodic means the, the, the symptoms reappear and disappear, reappear and disappear, that's a periodic, after a certain duration, reappear after a certain duration. Periodic high fever up to 106 degree Fahrenheit, sweating, chills, and shaking repetition in 48 hours or 72 hours, depending upon the species of plasmodium and type of the malaria. So, the chills means very cold, sucking means shivering, sucking the body. Treatment, so the malaria can be treated by using anti-malarial drugs such as quinine, daraprim, plowdrin, etc. So, the malaria can be controlled by using, um, by preventing the mosquito bite. We need to be safe from the mosquito. So, control of mosquitoes, so let's have a look. So, we're going to talk about these things very precisely. So, if we control the mosquitoes, we'll be safe from the disease. Number one, destruction of adult mosquitoes, for example, hand killing. We can kill mosquitoes by hand or by using some sort of tools, for example, the spatula. Fumigation, fumigation is by using the smog, spraying, for example, spraying some sort of insecticides, for example, bagon spray. Number two, elimination of mosquito breeding sites. Mosquitoes are breeders in the stagnant water, accumulated water in the pond or ditches or swamp or marshy lands or, or, or thick vegetation. So we need to clear them so that no mosquitoes. Mosquitoes cannot breed there. So no eggs, no larva, no pupa, and we can control mosquitoes. Clearing bushes and filling off ponds and ditches. Ditches means small, small um, the depressions where water get filled. Destruction of larvae and pupae. We can destruct and kill the larvae and pupae in the water. How? Okay, number one, screening the stagnant water body by using crude oil or kerosene. What does it mean? It means stagnant water means the water of pond or lake. So what to do? We use the crude oil means like kerosene or petrol or diesel. We spray in the in the pond and and the oil covers um, the surface of the water and because of that the pupa and larva does not get um, the oxygen and they will die because of suffocation so that is the mechanism how we kill the larvae and pupae number two use of insecticides such as, such as ddt bhc these are the insecticides the um, poison used to kill the insects dichloro diphenyl trichloro ethan DDT, the full form, and the BHC, uh, it stands for benzene hexachloride. We spray dust and then after the pupa and larva get killed, even the adult. Biological control, what does it mean? It means we introduce some of the biological enemies or other organism, they will destroy, kill them or they will eat them and so that we will get rid of the mosquitoes. For example, Rearing up larvicidal fishes or mosquito fishes, they eat mosquito larva and mosquito pupa. For example, stickleback, the minnows, also we say gambusia, trout, we say tilapia as well. Carp, argentine pearl fish, when we put them in the pond, they eat mosquito larva and pupa. And we control the mosquito. And also, if we have got aquatic dragonfly, they eat uh, the mosquito larva and pupa. And finally, Prevention of mosquito bites, for example, is screening the house and putting the long sleeved clothes will be prevented of mosquito bites and we can control. So, here is screening the stagnant water body by using oil. So, have a look. So, it's a kind of big pond and petroleum is used. The after, so the, the pupa and the larva get killed. Okay, so the surface is covered by the oil. Rearing of some mosquito fishes in the fish pond. Okay, for example, um, the minnows or gambusia, stickleback, um, and Argentine pearl fish and tilapia, when we rear them in the pond, 
Um, if mosquitoes, larvae, and pupa are the present, or mosquito breeds in the same pond, and they will be destroyed uh, by these fish. And on one hand, we get a fish, and on the other hand, we get the mosquito control. That's a good idea. And next one, screening the houses, um, and mosquito will not want to enter into the house. That's good. And we easily control mosquitoes. That's all for today. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. That's all for today. Have a good time. See you in next class next week. Thank you.